And Dan, we understand that footballs are flying all over the place on the BC campus at spring practice. Uh, I'd like to know how many are hitting the ground, though. Uh, <laughs> none because of the quarterback, which is the most amazing thing. Um, so Patrick Cole's uh, the, the who's going to quarterback right now for Boston College, uh, fifth year star, a fifth year transfer from Kentucky. Comes up, uh, Scott Loeffler now the offensive coordinator at Boston College, and they they've reconfigured the from what we've heard about spring practice and some of the things that we've seen in the videos that have been released um, from, from Boston College. They're really going to a different style of uh, of offense. Uh, they've really decided that when they were the fifth team, um, they were going to change things up. They were the fifth team to to open up their practice. And they were really reconfiguring their entire offense around tolls. And one of the ways to change Jeff Smith, who was one of the four starters from last season, and Troy Flutie, who, uh, of course, you know, how many times can you talk about him just because of his last name? They've opted to move them out of the quarterback position. Jeff Smith was moved to a wide receiver. He had great chemistry with tolls, had a problem with his hands, um, uh, which, no shocker. Number one, because he couldn't complete a pass. Why would he be able to catch one? Um, but he's got electric speed. They're trying him out as a running back. With the loss of Sherm Alston, I would expect to see him kind of factor in either out, out of some trick, some trickery, some jet sweeps, um, things that Scott Loeffler does love to run. He has a guy with speed that he can and run. Uh, so along those lines, Mike's looking at me laughing because I'm excited about a jet sweep with a quarterback right now um, and, and with Troy Flutie they put him on the jugs machine and, and uh, have been trying to work him out a little bit to the quarterback position but it looks like a starter they're going to go to a more of a pro style up to bringing back a couple of receivers who didn't play last year because they were hurt they've say uh, but the real surprise has been the fact that there's an emergence of Tommy Sweeney who's a t who was a tight end who had Good hands last year when they could get the ball to him um, with full of times. Sweeney's going to be able to be a pass catching tight end when Tolls is throwing it to offense, a pro style offense, and it's the type of offense that Auto actually touted as saying when they're recruiting, throw more than the New England Patriots. The fact that Steve Adazio led team. You, I, ne that's just incredible. It gets a finally. There's excitement because maybe we'll complete a pass this year. I don't know. So Dan, while the offense should be improved and it can't help but be improved uh, based on scoring nine points, even with those explosions against uh, FCS competition early in the season, it still only scored nine points per game, countered by the 60 points early against Howard. My question is, is the defense going to be nearly as good as it was in 2015, but maybe the offense gets much better, but if the defense isn't nearly as good, then uh, you're looking at uh, zero or one wins against in the conference again. I don't, I don't necessarily think, uh, you know, when we look at them, their defense is, is absolutely going to take a step back. I don't necessarily think that it's going to be that far. Far back, I think it's to uh, to keep up the, the the breakneck pace that they had. When you figure that they were a top five defense, they were they were the best defense in college football. They had an offense that was atrocious. That was one of the worst offenses in the history of college football, and they managed to uh, to keep it going, to keep teams scored low. They managed to keep the point totals low, and in doing that. They really, you know, established themselves as one of the best, if not the best, defenses in college football. Now, what that means is that it's going to transition. They have a new defensive coordinator with Don Brown out at Michigan. They bring in Jim Reed. And the aggressiveness and kind of along those lines, it's imperative to keep that up. But there are parts that they have to replace on the defensive line and in the secondary. Replacing three or four pieces, is off of a there's going to be a step back leadership to say this defense could still be one of the best in the league, which means they're going to get a couple of wins that maybe they shouldn't. I think BC is going to be improved. I'm not just saying that as a wicked homer, um, but I I think that they'll be improved provided 
what we're saying and what we're seeing in practice can 